official call to order of this meeting in just a few moments. Thank you for your patience. Um, we will begin at about 5.05 to give everybody a chance to log on. Thanks for joining the AP 617 Stockton Community Steering Committee meeting. All right, well, my clock is showing 5.05. .05. I think we're almost there. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the meeting to order officially. Uh, good evening. It's a little after five and you are uh, attending the AB 617 Stockton Steering Committee meeting for the first meeting for 2021 and January. Thank you all so much for joining us. My name is Erica Manuel. I'm the CEO uh, of the Institute for Local Government and I'm here uh, with the ILG team and uh, in we're here to sort of facilitate the conversation that you have every month uh, around air quality and how you can make uh, the AB 617 legislation work for you and your community. I, I, before we turn the discussion to the agenda, which is structured and sent via email and online, we wanted to um, acknowledge that today is a little bit of a, an interesting day for our country and probably for you individually. And um, we wanted to kind of leave some space for that and talk about um, how that might impact the conversation today and whether we need to rethink the conversation that we have today. Um, as people are still joining, I will say that a lot of people have some really strong feelings about what's transpired today. And I think it really highlights the importance of engagement, of community, of democracy, of civility, of equity. I mean, all these other topics and we are all on this community uh, steering committee kind of committed to those things. And we wanted to recognize that and express, first of all, gratitude for being here so far but also I wanted to turn it over to our host um, and our community co-host to talk about uh, what are the committee feels about whether or not this meeting should continue as scheduled and the agenda should continue as scheduled or if we should think about uh, rescheduling it to give everybody some time and space um, to process and or do the work that they may need to do in their communities tonight. So I will turn this over to Ryan and um, Ryan, if you would, uh, give us some thoughts around what the Air District is thinking and maybe what you've heard from some of the CSC members behind the scenes today. Yeah, thanks a lot, Erica. Um, you know, we, we, it's definitely unfortunate events um, that are happening in our, in our nation. And um, it was definitely, I never thought I'd be living to see the day where, where something like this would be in, unfolding and what I still consider to be the best country in the world and um, you know, the, the democratic processes that we've developed and hold so dear. And we see in the, the AB 617 uh, process uh, firsthand and, and, and you know, our ability to work together may come from different viewpoints, uh, but have a desire to, to work together to, to um, you know, build something positive. Um, and so, um, having heard from some of the, the, the steering committee members about, um, the, you know, that the, in these troubling times, the difficulty with really focusing and being able to focus in on, on the conversations of, um, that, that we're having in regards to the, the community emission reduction program development, um, that it, it possibly could best be served by postponing this, but um, wanted to hear from um, some of the, the um, community-based organizations who have been in direct contact with some of the residents who have voiced these concerns. And so at this point, I would look to turn it over to, to Dylan to, to, to share a little bit about it, and then we can have a, a conversation about um, what uh, we want to do as far as next steps. Thanks, Ryan. I, re I really appreciate the um, chance. There are a number of uh, residents that uh, contacted us about, you know, the, this seems to be like a, a really kind of 
touchstone moment in our democracy and people want to lay witness to it. Um, and uh, I, I agree, um, but with the caveat that I think the work that we're doing is extremely important and we are eager to get this work done without a doubt. Um, but um, to tell you the truth right now, like as we're watching on TV, I'm having a hard time trying to explain to my kids why a Confederate flag is is being waved in the in the in, in our nation's capital right now. Um, and um, as as eager as I want to um, continue this process and make this happen, and this definitely needs to happen, uh, I can't get that out of my mind right now. So I I apologize, but um. And you know, but I, I am open to whatever the, the group wants to do. I, I can we can continue with this meeting if if the majority feels they want to continue. Mm -hmm. Did any other uh, CSC members have thoughts they wanted to share? Um, I think that you know Dylan has certainly expressed some concerns and similar thoughts that others have shared on the chat. Seeing lots to say. Um, you know, let's reschedule, let's give ourselves some time and space to explore what's happening, to, to communicate it with our families, to, to, to be with our, with our communities, um, and to, to acknowledge the moment in history that we're in. Um, but again, this is an important process and there is a time sensitivity around the work that's being done. So, you know, the alternatives, if not today, would be to go to a meeting next week, off schedule, off cycle. Um, so think about that. But um, does anybody else want to share thoughts? Uh, I would like to have a question. Is, is uh, CARB also going to give a meeting this week? I believe it's Friday. Are they going to count the two this week if this is going to happen for this, this meeting as well as the CARB? Scott? Yeah, hi. Hi, Douglas. Thanks for the question. This is Scott Wall with the California Air Resources Board. Um, at this point, we have not considered canceling the meeting for tomorrow. Um, I can certainly reach out uh, to everybody that's on the distribution list for that meeting, maybe do a, a touch base email with everybody tomorrow and see how things are at that point. Um, see kind of how, how everybody's feeling and, and where we're at kind of with everything that's going on, maybe tomorrow late morning, early afternoon. Um, and if I could just kind of ask maybe for folks to to respond uh, where you're at. If you'd like to see that one rescheduled as well, I'm certainly happy to move that out to another time, so. Okay, would you mind letting the interpreter know as well to give an advance notice as well, please? Thank you. Of course, thank you. It's a great question. Thank you, Douglas. Anyone else have thoughts? I mean, I can certainly review some of the things that are written in the chat for those of you that are on the phone that can't see it and um, I do see that there are quite a few people expressing concern, thinking about rescheduling for next week, um, appreciating the conversation and the discussion. And, you know, with this committee didn't get a chance to really meet in person too many times before we were sheltered in place. But, you know, I do think that this is, um, at least for tonight and certainly hopefully moving forward and always has been a safe space for you to communicate how you feel about these things and how you might be feeling in general, because it does, um, really speak to the value and the importance of the work that you're doing and the role that you play as a community stakeholder and a leader. So um, looks like people are talking a little bit about possible scheduled times for next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. So, um, um, has a oh, sorry, Kim, I just wanted to share. So next week we have um, possibly Tuesday or Thursday, we do have community steering committee meetings in Shafter and Fresno on Monday and Wednesday. And we could send out a doodle poll first thing tomorrow, prioritizing at, so that people could choose between a Tuesday or a Thursday of next week. Thank you. I do see Debbie's hand. Thank you, Kim, for alerting me to that. Debbie, did you have a comment? You're muted, Debbie. If you're talking, I think you're muted, Debbie. Okay, I tried to unmute myself. Am I unmuted? Yes, you are. We can okay. hear you now. Um, it, it's disturbing, I know, to everybody what, what has happened today. Uh, it's been offensive and so many other things. Uh, and it, it, it's hit right at our hearts and our guts. And 
and so many other places that we just it, it it's it, it's really affected many of us and um i do think that we probably should uh delay this meeting although i think that the senate and the house are going to continue on like troopers so and they've been shot at or and whatever else um so it, it, it's kind of hard for me to say you know that way too i thought about that so whatever everybody else wants to do uh i i kind of i i tend to go towards let's delay it a week thank you for that comment um, I do see that there are uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of people have written in the chat um, about expressing desire to move it to next week. Certainly not everyone. We've got about 56 people on the line. What I will ask, um, it looks like there is a preference for Thursday because there is a council meeting on Tuesday. We want to be respectful of the other meetings that were already kind of on the docket and we don't want to minimize your ability to participate in those important processes as well. So. Um, as, as Jamie mentioned, if we did reschedule, there would be a doodle poll sent out. Um, I am getting the sense that there is an interest in delaying today to giving everybody time and space to, to see what's happening in the world and connect with whatever uh, people or, or communities you need to today. Um, is, does anyone object to that? Is there anybody that strongly feels like we should keep moving forward and wants to talk about that? If you do have a preference, feel free to unmute yourself and, com and communicate directly or raise your hand using the blue hand on Zoom, which is also star nine. All right, I see no hands. I do hear a, a cute little voice, but I don't think that person is objecting um, to our, our movement of this meeting potentially to sometime next week. Um, I will ask our community co-host who has been so gracious today to have a presentation available. We would certainly want to give that person the opportunity to weigh in as they had planned to as well. Irene, not to put you on the spot, but are you available next week as well to present as you would have today? Um, yeah, I would say I also was following everything today and it does give me a lot of anxiety that I definitely feel like moving it would I would be in a better headspace and I'm available whenever that is. Yeah. Thank you for that, Irene. Uh, Air District, it is completely up to you. Um, ILG is certainly willing to call it based on what we've heard today, but any thoughts from the Air District team? No, we do. It's affecting us as well. We've been, and as a matter of fact, I'm even having trouble focusing because there's a TV that with the volume down and I'm dying to hear what Chuck Schumer is talking about right now. So, yeah, yeah, I think it's true that we are watching history being made for better or worse. We are living in that moment right now, and it is everyone's processing it in a different way. Um, and I think everyone is um, kind of understanding it in a different way. And regardless of how you feel about what's happening, either at the California Capitol or at the at the country's Capitol, um, you know, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, and it does require a little bit um, of space. Matt Holmes, I see your hand. Yeah, just, just a point of order. I, I don't think there's a lot of opposition, but I do think that it's important that we exercise the community leadership of this committee. It's the statutory requirement of AB 617. And so um, I actually don't think it's up to the Air District. And so I, I'd like to hear a motion to suspend and a second and a vote on record, please. And I'll make that motion. I'll second it. In the background. Oh, and I see a second online as well. Um, and, and certainly the consensus is 50% plus one. A, a formal motion is certainly a, an option as well. And I hear that that is on the record uh, for formality's sake. So thanks for that, Matt. And it looks like we are good to go there unless there's any objections. Um, that vote uh, at your request, we do typically have votes noticed on the agenda. This is certainly a special circumstance. So for the record, we will say that that vote was not planned. 
and that we um, did not do it in a formal capacity in advance, but we certainly are acknowledging the uniqueness of today's situation. I'm seeing lots of eyes in the chat. And if you would like to uh, raise your blue hand as well, we can track those for the uh, record of this meeting too. And uh, Zoom will do that for us. Thank goodness. Yeah, so it looks like we're taking the vote in three different ways. Uh, some of you are typing in the chat. Some of you are raising your blue hands, indicating eyes, and some of you are, are clicking on the green button that says yes. So we're counting all these three different uh, ways you guys are doing that. And, and, and if you did one, one way, if you typed in the chat box, do not raise your hand. And if you type in the chat box and raise your hand, go ahead and lower your hand now. So we have accurate count of votes. Okay, one method of voting. The other thing I want to track is we didn't do the formalities of this meeting to make sure everybody's name reflects who they actually are. Um, and I'm going through a quick scroll and I did see a couple phone numbers. I want to make sure those phone numbers are reflected accurately as committee members. It looks like they've been adjusted. Um, Kim, can you do a confirmation for me just to make sure we didn't miss anyone? Yeah, let me see. Sorry, I was counting the votes in the chat. Um, and also, if you're an alternative and your I, primary committee member is present, there's only one vote, either primary vote correct. or alternative. Yep. So if you're yep. an alternative and your primary committee member is present and you accidentally raised your hand, just go ahead and lower your hand. Um, thanks, Hannah. I would say the only person we don't have named or labeled, it just says environmental justice. Um, whoever is representing that. I don't know if that's somebody's phone yeah. not linked or something. So that would probably be my program manager, the new or my new program manager, okay. uh, Hector. Um, so he, yeah, there he is. So he, that's our main account name. Okay. From Catholic Charities. So he doesn't have a vote anyway. Technically you would be representing, great, okay. All right, so I think we have the numbers, but did Kim and Hannah, did you want to try and give a tally based on all those? I, I see mostly a, an I consensus, certainly 50% plus one. Yeah, I mean, it might be difficult if we each um, did a different way, Hannah, but I counted like 19. Yeah, and let me, uh, Douglas, I see that you typed yes in the chat box and I see your hand up, so I'm gonna lower your hand. And I, in terms of CSC members too, we have uh, 44 on the line, many of which are our carbon air districts. So removing those, um, we'd need to have, you said 19. So that would mean 38 CSC members at least to have that be in contestant, to be contested. Okay, well, Give me a moment and we'll just double check our count. For the record, it's looking like we're, we're good there. So while the ladies are formalizing what they can uh, numerically with the votes, uh, what we think will move forward is that we will postpone today's meeting, even though we're 20 minutes in. Uh, for those online on Facebook and others, there will be emails to the CSC to identify the best date for next week that works for everyone. Uh, we will keep the agenda as it is. I think the agenda stays and all the materials that were sent out in advance will be utilized again. Um, there may be an update. I don't know formality wise if the air district's required to repost, but please do look for emails from the air district uh, about how to engage in your preference for the meeting date and time. And then also to make sure that you have all the materials necessary. One thing I will say as a caveat is that if we move forward with a new date, um, we will definitely be a little farther up against the time crunch. Uh, we have a lot to get done of really important work. And so um, we do encourage you all to do uh, some pre-reading in advance to make sure that next week's meeting really does go as uh, quickly and productively as possible so that we can get this SERP finalized on schedule, even with our extension of March. We can do it. Jonathan is already sending us good vibes for productivity. I love it. I know we can do it. I know it's possible. Hannah and Kim, are we good with our 19 plus? Yeah, I think we reached consensus that we're at 24. 
Perfect. All right. Well, we have voted to move this meeting to another date. Um, again, thank you for those of you that joined today um, and are responsive uh, to today's needs and, and really conscious of what's going on in the country. And, and I send um, on behalf, I think, of ILG teams, certainly, where we've got all of our thoughts with, with all of you as we, um, like I said, live this moment in history. So we'll be uh, hearing from the Air District team electronically. And we will call this meeting adjourned at 523. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Take all. Care. Thanks.